dress in red like Kate, is wearing Saint Laurent. She hasn't stopped impressing us with her wardrobe since she arrived wearing a Jenny Packham lace dress. So why stop now? Kate left the house in a stunning red and white outfit, pairing a vintage Saint Laurent belted jacket with white pants and aquazura cease heels. Airport style at its finest. She is sporting her cherished Halicon Days bracelet and a Mulberry Amberley bag that she carries with pride. The button front collared jacket was actually something Kate brought with her to school. Kate has solidified her position as the queen of sustainability with a jacket that is more than 20 years old yet still appears to be in brand new condition. By recycling a jacket she purchased from Yves Saint Laurent while in college, the Duchess of Cambridge has once again demonstrated her commitment to eco-friendly fashion. As the royal couple departed Belize that day to travel to Jamaica to continue their Caribbean tour, Kate, 40, put on a magnificent performance. The mother of three is believed to have chosen a vintage red Yves Saint Laurent jacket that she purchased while enrolled in University of St Andrews, where she first met Prince William, 39, two decades ago. In addition to a mulberry handbag, she accessorized her statement piece with white pants and striking matching heels with a golden striped cutout. After a four-day trip during which they experienced Belize's history, Maya culture, and indigenous dancing, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge said goodbye to the country. It is known that the Cambridge spent the weekend scuba diving in the Caribbean, and a photo of their excursion is anticipated to be shared on social media. A gathering of dignitaries waved off William and Kate after they were bid farewell on the red carpet with a guard of honour in attendance. Their eight-day journey of the Caribbean will continue in Jamaica, where they will later visit Trench Town, the Kingston neighbourhood where reggae legend Bob Marley the Cambridge won't leave Jamaica until Thursday in order to travel to the Bahamas. The couple is preparing for more anti-royal protests during their Caribbean tour after a group of Jamaican politicians, business executives, medical professionals, and musicians demanded in an open letter that the British monarchy make up for slavery reparations as the nation marks its 60th anniversary. William and Kate are scheduled to arrive in the nation for a two-day visit as part of their Caribbean tour, and the group is anticipated to hold a demonstration in front of the British High Commission in Kingston. I hope you find this video useful please like, share and subscribe for more updates thanks for watching.